Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We out on the highways and byways week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. America, first and foremost, we're going to give all praise to the Heavenly Father, the Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect and the elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so called uh, Negroes, Benjamin, the so called West Indian Jamaicans, Levi, the so called Haitians, uh, Reuben, the so called Seminole Indians, Gad, the North American Indians, this is called the so called Mexicans. Um, you have Zebulon, the Guatemala, the Panama, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, Asher's Colombia, to Uruguay, and Naphtali, Argentina, the Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who Yahweh has come to redeem, one-third the elect, two-thirds to set up for the destruction. And this is a, the artist's rendition of our big brother, Yahweh Shai, right? That, that's that's what the scriptures when you read the scriptures this is the, the uh, image that you're going to get right not like the Christian church is going to give you this image right that's what the Christian church is going to give you and that's not the right image man you know and that, and that is a uh, That is a, a stronghold, right, that's put out there and our people has grabbed that stronghold and, and lived with it and, and, and looked at it as truth. And it's not true, man. So we come out here, man, to knock down them strongholds when you read in 2 Corinthians 10 chapter, man. You know? And the Lord is getting ready to come soon, man. He's on his way. Uh, let me start here. This is Revelations 22 and 7. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Blesses he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Right? Meaning, who are going to keep the, the, the sayings of this book? They're going to be the elect, man. Two-thirds are not going to keep the prophecies of this book, man. Two-thirds are going to believe in their own vain opinions. And they're going to follow these strongholds. They're going to grab a hold of these strongholds. And they're going to believe wholeheartedly in these strongholds. The elect are the ones who, who've been, who've been uh, uh, set apart. They are the holy. And that's what it means. Holy means separate. They have been set apart from this world, man. It says, behold, I come quickly. Right? When you look the word up quickly, it means suddenly. So the Lord is telling you I'm going to come suddenly. The scripture tells you he's going to come like a thief in the night, man. And you know when a thief comes, what? You don't You don't actually know when a thief is coming. He comes unexpectedly, man. And that's how Yahweh how, how Shai is going to come. When you least suspect it, man. When you people out here, uh, 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 just out here uh, lollygagging around and having a good time, the Lord is preparing to come back and destroy this place and set a new kingdom up, man. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of, of the prophecy. Right? So favor is going to be shown to the ones who obey these words of this book. Right? He says he's coming soon, man. He said that's why he said quickly. Because he's coming back. It's, it's, that, it's that point of time, man. You know? And it says, Behold, I come quickly. Bless he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book, meaning the Bible. And it, like I it said, it's going to be the elect that keep these sayings. You know? So, what is the, uh, uh, the intent of, of uh, prophecy, right? It's to lead us to trust and obey the Heavenly Father and Son, man. And to apply this truth in the way we live, basically, in our day to day lives, man. That's the intent of prophecy, man. To get us to trust you how about trusting you how about shit I was shot, man. That's why he have prophecies that happen, right? He, he'll show you, he, he shows you in the readings, and then he have things that happen. So when you read in the history, when the prophecies was going out, he also showed you in the book where these prophecies took place. And they're they're going to more are going to take place, man. Meaning what? The RFID chip, that's the prophecy in the Bible. Race riots is a prophecy in the Bible. 
in the nuclear destruction. Famine, pestilence, those are prophecies that are in these scriptures, man. And they are going to come true. So we know, that's why we know that, that it's going to come true because other prophecies have already been spoken and they came to fruition, man. Revelations 22 and uh, 8. It says, And I, John, saw these things and heard them, and when, when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Just like it said in the 19th uh, chapter, 10th verse, man. He was overwhelmed. When the, that's what the angel had to remind him that only you, uh, he fell down and worshiped him. The angel had to remind John, look, you only supposed to worship uh, uh, the Heavenly Father, man. You don't supposed to worship men, right? You only worship the Heavenly Father, man. He says, uh, and I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I, when I had heard and seen, I fell to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things, right? So the angels basically letting them know that we're on the same team, along with all the, all the other ones who keep the words of these scriptures, man. We're on the same team if you're if you, if you going according to this Bible, man. If you're not going according to the Bible, no, you're on the opposing team, man. You know? It says, and I, and I, John, Revelation 22 and 8, and I, John, saw these things and heard them, and when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Like I said, the angel told him, hey, I'm on your team. I'm a, I'm a fellow servant like you. Basically, you know, nothing, uh, nothing that's created should be worshiped other than your house shy, man. You know? And, you know, he received this from the angel, man. Yahweh Shai is the only thing that's created that we should worship. Even the angels worship Yahweh Shai uh, 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 himself. And I get it for you. That's Hebrews 1. Hebrews, the first chapter. Hebrews 1 and 6. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, the first begotten is Jehovah Shai. It says, into the world, he said, and let all the angels of the Most High worship him. So Jehovah Shai was the first begotten, and all the angels, the Lord said, let all the angels worship him, man. He is the only thing that's created that's supposed to be worshipped. Regular uh, mortal men on this planet should be worshipped. No animal should be worshipped. Nothing created. The stars, you shouldn't worship the sun. You shouldn't worship stars and the moon. Nothing created, you should worship, man. But the, the Lord's son, he's the only one that's, 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 uh, that's due to, to be worshipped, man. Uh, it says, uh, let me see, Matthew, let me get Matthew 8 and 2. Matthews 8 and 2 and it says I'll start at 1 when he was come down from the mountains great multitudes followed him right and it says and behold there came a leap leper and worshiped him saying Lord if thou if thou will thou canst make me clean that was a leper was one to be made clean he told you how shy it was what uh he worshiped him man so these are what men the angels forgot the instructions to worship Yahweh Shai and men that's who we worship Yahweh Shai and I'm just showing you an example of men that worship Yahweh Shai man uh when you jump over to uh 14 chapter the 14 chapter the 30 14 
I started 31. It says, and immediately how shot stretched forth his hand and caught him. This is when he told Peter basically to come out on the sea, right? Um, I'll start at 28. Uh, start 27. But straightway, Yahweh Shai spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be, bid me to come into the water. So Peter was saying, If it's you, bid me to come into the water, right? But Peter didn't know that his faith was going to be uh, tested, man. And he, he said, come. And Peter was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water to go to Yahawashai. But when he saw the wind, uh, boisterous, when the wind picked up, right? He was afraid, meaning what? He lost his faith, man. When he got afraid, right? He lost his faith just that fast. He doubted, right? And, and, and doubt, and doubt is serious, man. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard to keep your faith when you doubt, man. So you have to keep your faith strong and don't doubt, man. It says, and he said, come, and when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai, but when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? <laughs> Yahweh Shai was asking, yeah, you start doubting, man. So that's real serious in this truth, man, that you don't doubt, man. Keep your faith strong, man. Pray without ceasing, man. Always ask the Lord to keep your faith strong. And take that, that doubt as a demon, man. You know? Take that doubt demon out of out of, out of your off your spirit, man. You know, because time is it's gonna be times that are gonna come that are coming that our faith is gonna be heavily tested, bro. We're gonna be heavily tested in this future in the time of uh in, in this particular time right here. This is when our faith is gonna be heavily, heavily uh tested. Uh this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for the, that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's going to be saved? The elect. And the elect men only. Because why? Because the elect men are, are set up from the foundations of the earth to keep that faith, man. The elect men are not going to doubt, you know? And that's going to be heavy in that time of Jacob's trouble because in that time of Jacob's trouble, when Esau come up against us, he's going to bring all his forces, man. He's going to bring the, the, the military against us, man. All, all the weapons that he have created, he's going to bring them against us, man, to try to make us uh, or take that chip, that RFID microchip, man, which is the mark of the beast, man. So it's going to be very important that you don't doubt, man, that you keep your faith strong. And we're going to be heavily tested in that day, man. It says, uh, St. Matthew's 14 and 31, and immediately, and immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshiped him. They saw it, man. They saw it, man. They, even saw, they, saw, they kept seeing miracles that Yahweh Shai was doing, man. So when he came unto the ship, and when that, when that water ceased, that was another miracle that they had saw. And they had saw Peter walk on that water, man. So it's like it says they worshiped him, man. Men were worshiping Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Saying of, of a truth, thou art the son of the most high. And they believe, man, that he's the son of the most high, man. Yahweh Shai, man. Like I said, man, we coming to that time where we're gonna be coming in Jacob's trouble, man. And it's gonna be uh, a very, very important that you keep your, your uh, prayers going to keep that faith, man. Because doubt, doubt is a demon, man. You see how Peter doubted and his, he, he starts seeking and shit. 
so we're gonna have to keep keep your prayers up, man, and don't doubt, man. You know? Back in Revelation. What's going on, God? Yeah, I'm in Georgia, February. Georgia. Georgia. February. See, uh, I get another one in John. Nine and thirty-eight. John nine and thirty-eight. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Right? So it starts on the level. No, no. That and this is the uh, 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 the blind the uh, parable of the, uh, after the blind man. Let me go up some. Well, I wish come back to Oh yeah, It says verse thirty one, and now we know that the Most High here is not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of the Most High, he doeth his will, him hear him, he hear it. Right? So if, if you believe in the Yahweh Bashan Al Shai, you're going to do the will. It says, Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened his eyes of one that was born blind? If any man were not of the Most High, he could, could do nothing. They answered and said unto him, Thou was altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Yahweh heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of the Most High? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Yahweh said unto him, Thou hast thus both seen him, it is he that talked with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. Done. And that was the uh, blind man, man. He did a miracle and opened his eyes, man. 